إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ما بعد نرحب بكم جميعا We welcome all of you once again in our class Which tonight we're not going to read from Al-Shama'il For two reasons One, I didn't prepare for the class <clears throat> I was on the road so we just got back from somewhere And number two It's always a good thing to uh, review some of the basics together. Right, Mustafa? And, uh, which means I'm going to ask some questions. And your brothers going to participate in giving us the answers. So those who know the proper answer, they will raise their hand and share with us. And those who don't know, they wait for the right answers. And this way, alhamdulillah, we're going to learn some basics. These are very basic things, okay? Tayyib, number one. Man khalaqana? Man khalaqana? Su'al bil-arabiyya, nuridu al-jawab bil-arabiyya. Wa nas'al, and then we're going to ask the same question in English. And we want the answer in English. So we want to answer in Arabic first. Man khalaqana, which means who created us? Bil Arabi awalan, Arabic first. Man khalaqana, al Arabiyatu awalan. Al Arabiyatu, Arabic awalan first. Now, Allahu khalaqana, aw khalaqana Allahu. إذن إذا سئلت إذا سئلت من خلقنا if you are asked who created us الجواب ماذا what is the answer الله خلقنا نقدم الله أحسن الله but now you have to make it pay attention you have to have all the fathas خلقنا not خلقنا because if you say خلق and you put the سكون on the قاف that's a big mistake you're saying that we created Allah so you have to make sure that you don't say الله خلقنا الله خلقنا الله خلق نا. Okay. So who created us? Hmm. Not خلقنا. I just said that's a mistake. You don't say ق. Don't say that. Say خلقنا. It's a big mistake. So who created us? Allah, now we, I want the answer in English now. Ahsant, Allah. Naami, Abdul Rahman, who created us? I know, so, uh, okay. Inshallah, Zakum Allah khair. That's a good thing. I ask in English, they still give me the answer in Arabic. That's a beautiful thing. Naam, Akhi, who created us? Allah. Ahsant. Now, that's the answer for the first question okay man khalaqana allah khalaqana who created us allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created us طيب here is the second question لماذا خلقنا الله لماذا خلقنا الله 
Why did Allah create us? For what purpose? For what reason Allah created us? Arabic first. Al Arabiya to Awal and Nah. Qul Khalaqana Allah. It's always good to start like that. Don't give a half sentence. Say Khalaqana Allah. Thumma Atimna. لكي نعبده ونعبد القمر معه أنا أقول أي نعم أعوذ بالله لكن إذا لم يقول شيئا أنا أحد يقول كذا هل هذا صحيح؟ أين اختبأت؟ لا تختفي أين أنت؟ نعم هل هذا صحيح؟ خلقنا الله لكي نعبده ف... أضف شيئا نعم عكاشة أحسنت شفت كيف خلقنا الله لنعبده وحده ولا نشرك به شيئا That's the correct answer لماذا خلقنا الله نعم من يعيد الجواب نعم أحسنت أبو الدرداء لماذا خلقنا الله أحسنت لعبادته وحده لا شريك له أحسنت هو كذلك نعم so here is the English now okay since we know that Allah is the one who created us, what is the purpose behind our creation? Why did Allah create us? Why did Allah create us? Naam Ibrahim. Ahsant. Very good to worship him. Jibreel. No, 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 I don't, I don't want to. Just answer this first question first. That's going to be another question. Just answer the question. Be to the point. Why did Allah create us? Why? To worship Him. That's deficient. See, that's a good answer, but it needed something. Hudayfa. Ahsant, Naam Mustafa, alone, and to not worship anyone besides him. Okay? Naam. Tayyib al-an, ma huwa al-dalil? Ma huwa al-dalil? What is the proof? Hata ya Jibreel. أحسنت صورة الذريات وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا هل قال الله ليأكلون to eat لينامون to sleep ليلعبون ودت من ليلعبون to play see look what Allah says Allah says وما حصر وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون. I have not created the jinn and the human beings except to do what? To worship me, Allah says. Did Allah says except to play, to eat and sleep, hmm? to do whatever they want to do, to worship others? Beside me, ليشركون قال ليعبدون. So this is very important to pay attention to the ayat. Okay, Allah says ليعبدون. And this is correct. This is the ayah in Surah Al-Dhariyat, ayah fifty-six. In Surah Al-Dhariyat, chapter fifty-one. وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدوا. هل هناك من دليل آخر؟ Is there another دليل؟ 
Somebody know another proof to this one? No. Ahsant. Is that it? Are you the Ahsant. No. وما أرسلنا طيب نعم هذا صحيح وما أرسلنا من قبلك من رسول نعم we have not sent amongst you any messenger except that we reveal to him that there is no deity worthy of worship except me meaning Allah سبحانه وتعالى therefore worship me alone أي نعم فالله خلقنا لهذه الغاية العظيمة الله لم يخلقنا تكثرا ولم يخلقنا لأنه محتاج إلينا لم يخلقنا لهذه الأمور فالله هو الصمد الله did not create us because he wants more people on his side الله سبحانه وتعالى did not create us because he needs assistance and help because he needs us to take care of something or feed the birds and some things or feed the fish in the water. No, none of this. That's why the ayah in Surah al dhariyat that follows that one. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ What is it? مَا أُرِيدُ مِنْهُمْ مِنْ رِزْقٍ وَمَا أُرِيدُ مِنْ رِزْقٍ هذا لا أريد منهم من رزق لا يرزقون أنفسهم ولا غيرهم The people cannot provide for themselves not alone provide for others إن الله هو الرزاق ذو القوة المتين الله إذا الرزاق سبحانه وتعالى نعم So what was the first question? نعم يا كاشا من خلقنا والجواب خلقنا الله احسنت who created us and the first question always in english who created us the answer Allah is the one who created us in french qui nous a créé you correct me et la réponse Allah nous a crié. Mashallah. Sora Kulli? Kullun Taga. Huh? Kullun Taga. Kullun Taga. Kullun Taga is who created us. Mashallah. Allah who? Allah and Dun Taga. I come. I come with something else. And Muhammad, how do you say it? What do you say? ايش؟ كوناس يستوريو الله الله ناس يستوريو كوتشي اوتشي ان شاء الله حياك الله نعم وي هاف انذر لانجويج اي بنغالي تفضل هاو يو ساي فيرست اوف هاو يو ساي ان بنغالي لانجويج هو كرييتد اس مير كي ابني كي موتشين نعم كي أبلي كي قول تفضل قول هيك شيخ ها ها يا مالي مليال كي you close yeah right I don't know what he said hey he kale وتو تو تو جو Ututju, Yorba, this Nigerian, this one who dialects in Nigeria. How, how do you say? Kaludawa. Man, the Yorba is tough. Huh? Taludawa. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Anybody else? Lubnania. ليش راشن انت فين؟ اين انت من راشن؟ 
ده تعرف الروسية تفضل كاكسيلا ازا الله تفضل so this is good we're saying this because you need to understand this oh Pakistani Urdu ما شاء الله بس سليمان where you came from اهلا وسهلا go ahead Urdu نعم say that again Hame Kisne Bandakia aha Question and answer in one in one sentence. That's the question. And what is the answer? Allah, Allah, Allah ne, me, badakia, kia, mashallah. Somali, who's Somali people here? No Somali? Ah, Nuruddin, Abdurrahman, you're Somali. How do you say? You're Swahili. <laughs> Here you go, Somali. Mashallah. Assalamu alaikum. Yalla. Uh, how you say who created us in Somali? It's easy, Mashallah. Just one. Choose one. Kuma kuawari. Kuma kuawari? Ya kuawari. Allah, Allah created us? What do you say? Huh? No. Ya kuawari. Allah created us. How do you say that? Allah. Swahili. Yeah. Abu Abdul Rahman. No. Swahili? No. Huh? Masha. Nani Amitumba. Ah, that's Swahili. Akhuna Mahmoud. Tadal. Al Jawab. Allah. Akhuna Matata. Azalah, hayak Allah, Azalah, hayak Allah, Jumbo, Sheikh, Aromo, and you see me, Rabbi Naomi, Mashallah, easy, Allah Akbar, Allah, you Aromo or you Danana, Aromo, not Amhari, Amhari, ka, Amhari, and you Tigran here, right? Come here, Laha. Inshallah. Not Tigreen? Who is that? Amharic. Amharic. Inshallah. Same Amharic and Aromo. No, it's not the same. Tadda, Tadda. Inshallah. Zakum Allah khair. Barak Allah khair. Now, this is good, ya khwan, to know these things and to talk to the people. Alhamdulillah, we're here, different languages, different dialects. A lot of people need to know these things. Simple question, they don't know the answers. Because when you ask the question, subhanAllah, they were like, oh, they will start thinking, Allah created us alone. Nobody else. And why He created us? To worship Him alone. With no partners. ما هي العبادة? Because He says Allah created us to worship Him. لنعبده ما هي العبادة what is worship هذا السؤال الثالث أحمد ليش تفعلون أنت you taking notes with those phones or آه جزاك الله خير ما هي العبادة نعم عثمان أحسنت تعريف من هذا ها تعريف من؟ السؤال موجه لكل أحد لكن هو أجاب أنت تريد أن تضيف؟ هذه أي لفظة أخيرة؟ أعد؟ آه هذا التعريف من؟ لمن؟ هو ما أنا سألناه ما 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 يعرف أحسن شيخ الإسلام بن تيمية العبادة نعم أبو الدرداء أحسن هو كذلك العبادة اسم جامع أوكاشا تعرف هذا لكل ما يحبه الله ويرضاه 
من الأقوال والأفعال الظاهرة والباطنة هذا تعريف شيخ الإسلام بن تيمية رحمه الله What is the What is the meaning of عبادة The definition of worship عبادة Worship Because we will create to worship Allah What is this worship that is so important Allah created us only for this For nothing else Yes we sleep Because we are human beings If you don't sleep you get sick Yes we eat If you don't eat man you starve And you get sick And you may die Yes we go here and do there Run and sleep and get up again But we are not created for that We create to worship Allah But Allah SWT has given us so many good things That will help us to fulfill this obligation But what is worship in English? Child? No. Huh? no doubt, yes Belief is a part of it To have belief is one of the main parts of Ibad Actually that's one of the most important parts Naam Nobody tell anybody anything right Mahmoud Ahsant Wa kadalik Jamal From statements and actions. No. And that's what it is. Ibadah, worship, is a comprehensive term that covers or includes all what Allah loves and pleases with and is pleased with. From statements and actions, apparent or hidden. So anything that you say or you do, but with this condition that is pleasing to Allah and Allah loves it whether you do it when you're alone or you do it when you're around others it's okay there is another one go ahead, go ahead. there is another one take this one okay. there is more huh? that's okay no, I'm I'm <laughs> I want to put it back here just, just hold on I have, I have hold on because I have, I don't know how, I think you may come back in a couple of minutes. We're just going to leave it right here. Make it easy for you, inshallah. Okay? Zakallah. <clears throat> so, worship is a comprehensive term that includes all what Allah loves and is pleased with from statements and actions. So Allah loves Salat. Allah loves fasting. Allah loves Zakat. Allah loves Hajj. Allah loves truthfulness. Allah loves generosity. Allah loves every good manner. Tawheed, Sunnah. You see? And whether those actions are manifested like the Salat because you pray in the Masjid and people see you praying or the Zakat because you give it whether you give it to the collectors where the Muslim ruler have that you know facilitated and he will have people collectors of Zakat that's why the Ayah 16 Surah Tawbah said that وَالْعَامِلِينَ عَلَيْهَا meaning those who collect the Zakat of the people they will go to an areas and they are deployed by the ruler or whoever uh, Naib meaning the governor or the like and they will collect it so it is done and also there is the sadaqah that is done between you and Allah you help somebody without anybody know not even the person himself don't know you know somebody going through some hardships, some hard time, and we're human, we're in this dunya, so we're, uh, this is not Jannah that you get whatever you want. No, you go through some hardship, and somebody wants to help you, they don't even tell you anything. You get up in the morning, you're coming out for further, and you find a couple boxes 
fruits, vegetables, cereals, even diapers with the right size. Because that brother, he knows your family. He knows you got three months. He knows you have 18 months son. You see? You get up for further, you find a couple boxes sitting there. There's loads of bread, rice, chicken, some this, some that. And you say, Bismillah, and you take it in. Or somebody just came, give you a hug, and slip a little envelope in your pocket. And you don't even know. But he was just giving you, the, you go home, or or you go to the car, or you go home, and then like, and then you're like, what is this? And you pick it up, and you find hundred dollars, three hundred more, less, twenty, ten, and you don't know who gave it. So the first thing you do is what? Alhamdulillah, and you make du'a for the one who gave it to you. You don't need to know who gave it to you. La talab. Aina. Any other questions? I find myself running out of questions here. Somebody wants to uh, ask a question? Don't ask me a question. Like, keep going on what we're doing and come up with another question that go along with this. So far we said, Man khalaqana, who created us? Number two, Limada khalaqana Allahu, why did Allah create us? And number three, Ma hiya al-ibadah, what is worship? Now, Inshallah, yes. So what is the criterion for the worship that Allah wants? That's maybe number 19. We're looking for number 4. <laughs> We're going to go in steps. Baby steps, okay? We're not going to jump. We're, in a, we're still in the th third step. We want to get we don't want to jump like 11 steps or 15. Now, nah. well, well, what do you think would be the fourth question? That go right with these ones. What would you think? Like a question that go along in this order. Once again, who created us? Number one. Number two, why did he create us? And number create us. And number three, why? Because we know he created us to worship him. So he says, what is worship? So what would you think would be the next question that go along with this? Now, you agree? Uh, maybe number seven or six. Maybe. Let's see if we did get something. If not, we can take down. That's a good suggestion. Now, Bilal. Huh? What is shirk? shirk? Actually, he's right, Jibril. He's right, he's right. We're taking this one. Now, you're right, Jibril. كيف نعبد الله? أحسنت. That's, that's, that's it. I, I apologize. That's number four to me. What do you think, Nasir? كيف نعبد الله? How do we worship Allah? That's a good question. You're right. That's number four. Right next to number three. All right. Tay. كيف نعبد الله? Because Allah created us to worship Him, right? And what is this ibadah? This this statements actions. So how we worship Allah? Naam Nasir. نعبده قال نعبده بفعل أوامره وترك نواهي. We we said we worship Him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, by acting upon what he has commanded, and of course, to the best of your ability, and abstaining from what he has made prohibited for us. Now, anybody else have another answer? Uthman. Na'buduhu bi mashara. Ahsant, na'am. We worship him by what he has legislated. Wala nabtadi, and we do not innovate. Uh huh. Ahsant. Naam Okasha. Ahsan, sure. These are all good answers. Na'buduhu subhanahu wa ta'ala 
ittiba'an li nabiyyihi wa rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we worship him by following his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so these are all good answers right Jibreel that was mashallah good good question so who will remind us what this the answers was because we have one answer one answer one answer three answers I would have that what was the Nasser's answer Al-Nawahi Ahsant Na'buduhu subhanahu ta'ala bi fi'li al-awamir wajdinab al-Nawahi We worship Allah subhanahu ta'ala by acting upon the commands and staying away from the prohibitions Who wants to give us the answer that was given El Ibrahim Now you give us what what Uthman says what Uthman says the answer he gave Ahsant na'buduhu bima shara'a Uh-huh He added something you left the bus when he added this, you get off. That was your stop. Uh, you get off. Now, you forget. Now, we worship him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, by following what he has legislated for us, of course. And we do not innovate. We don't bring anything else. And who wants to give us the answer of Okasha? You ask the question. Who's going to give us the answer of Akasha? Naam, Ramzi? Ittiba'an lil Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Naam, na'buduhu ittiba'an lil Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We worship him. We worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Is what? By following his messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Homework number one. I don't know if you're going to have number two because we're coming close to the other. Homework number one. Who thinks, what would be homework number one? So just in case you don't like blame it on me. Who who wants to give an idea? What what you think would be no, the, the homework? No? Oh, you don't know your, your responsibility, huh? Everybody gonna come at you and see because of you, man. Right? No <laughs> Don't worry about that. What would be the homework? Naam, Hudayfa? Hassan. Write all of the questions, four questions. And their answers we learn together today. Everybody will do this, inshallah, right? Huh? You understand what everybody mean or not like three of us, right? I see like how many? Forty, fifty here or something at least, right? Right, Mujahid? You think just like you're in the shade, man, we see you. <laughs> huh? <laughs> All the brothers over there too, mashallah. Except those who just get here. They can look around. If they, their children were here, their parents were here, their brothers were here, their neighbors were here, they can get the assignment from them. Right, Hussein? I know. I was going to suggest something. I was going to talk to you in private. You are Nasir, but I'm mashallah, we brothers. I was suggesting for you, both of you, can you come up with a WhatsApp group for this? I was going to do a WhatsApp group for the Talat al Usul class. What do you think? Is it a good idea? Yes. Hussein, no, it's good for you? You can handle it? Let's do a WhatsApp. Nobody has, it's going to be only for that. For the Talat al Usul class. What would you do? You will put the class in there. And then put some notes in there. And now Sarah and you are going to come up with five questions. For every class, five questions. You're going to give the people the WhatsApp. Call it Talata to Usul. That's what you're going to call the WhatsApp group. Talata to Usul. No? Huh? Maybe the WhatsApp. I'm, this is because I'm not good at this stuff. Okay? Do the other ones. Which one is better? This, you you get with him. He will help you. He's an IT brother. They, they are ITs, these two. If you get some trouble, then you come to me. All right? <laughs> and then I will assign you to, <laughs> to his man. <laughs> Inshallah. Okay? So you guys get together. Come up with this Google Drive. Drive or Drive? Whatever it is. Give it to us, 
as soon as possible, give it to us. Inshallah Ta'ala, you will put the class of Talat al Usul, okay? Then you will choose and select five questions. And you try to do that like the class is going to be on Tuesdays, try to do that on Wednesdays. So that the people they have enough room, couple of days, two, three days. By Saturdays, the answers has to be all submitted in. What do you think? Is it a good idea? By the way, the women, our daughters and sisters in Islam, they, they've been doing this for years, for a couple of years here. No, they've been doing it, I know. They've been doing it. They have some groups for classes like this, and they do. They have summary to the class. No points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 15, 20 on the class. And then questions, number 1, number 2, number 3. And then you submit your, your answers, and they are corrected and graded. And there is some prizes too. Okay? Those ones who they submit the questions, how they the answers correctly, and they be put in somewhere. And they get one point here, one this, and then at the end of, I don't know, semester or something. Because this is how we're going to get benefit from this class. Not just to come here and I'm, I'm half sleep, you're quarter of sleep, I don't know what. And then we go home, forget about it. We don't. Some of us, we come in next Tuesday, we don't even know what class it is. What class today? Fiqh or Arabic, what is it? Don't even know. Now we know this is the class. I already listened to it. There is notes. I have notes. I match. And also we want some people to put their notes up there too. You want three people to put their notes. All right, Hussein? The people to put. We're going to randomly, you're going to choose. You brothers, randomly from the people that signed in there with you, you're going to say, brother, so and so, brother, so and so, brother, so and so, you, you got 24 hours to submit your notes. And this way we're gonna be working, right or wrong? It's like if somebody say, "Oh, let's go watch," it's like, oh, yeah, I gotta finish this. I gotta submit this homework, man. Same way when you go to school, right? Right, Jibril? You go to school, you have homework, and you didn't do the homework. Somebody say, "Let's play something." He's like, hey, I would love to play with you, man. Let me finish this homework. I want to get in. Because this homework is good for me. I think it's it's a good idea because it was it's, it's working. And it's going to work for us too, inshallah. Okay, now, Mahi? Yes, inshallah. We will do the memorization too. For Talata to Usul. What we're going to do for the memorization... Hmm? Is that on Tuesdays we will stay after Isha? We do like 20 minutes to one half an hour, okay, for memorization. Is that okay with you? After Isha on Tuesday, we're gonna do maybe like after Isha, we're gonna sit somewhere 20 minutes to half an hour, check the memorization, okay, inshallah. This way we can finish this great book, knowing what it is, we can talk about it, a lot of benefits, memorizing most of it, if it's not all of it. Yes, Jibreel? No. Ahsant. <coughs> See, that's one of the benefits. If you're not able to come one day, then you know that that night of tonight, it depends how busy Hussein is not or whatever who's helping him. It's going to be already on that that group. All you do, you go to the group, it's right there. And also, if you if you want to go back to class number one, number two, number three, number four, it's all in there, right? Is they, they're going to be there, right? So you're going to go back to them. And you can download them, you can forward them to somebody. But one thing I want you to do is that no chatting whatsoever. Nobody can chat. Nobody can do anything. People, they will submit. They will listen and submit their homework. No chatting. If somebody come up with anything, they will be advised. Okay? Not to do these things. Just follow the rules. Listen. Take notes. Answer the questions. 
if you were selected send and submit your notes right and that's all we need to do no chatting none of that stuff okay inshallah barakallah fikum now uh, we'll start with the rest also and we'll see how it's gonna work and we may do it for something else too inshallah okay because this book is is a tremendous book there are also three fundamental principles because we have to have some academic studies not just lecturing it's alhamdulillah has benefits in it when i come here and i read and your brother listens and i go home and you go home and that's the end of it until next tuesday la la la, la. now no we have something now that alhamdulillah there is notes here is notes of this and keep in mind that those notes take some effort for someone to listen and take notes and put them out there and type them so look look at don't think ah, subhanallah we just listen to the class he wants us to spend more time listening to it again what about the brother who spent a lot of hours listening to the class again taking notes and typing them all that stuff is make effort but his reward is with allah because that's going to be sadaqah jari inshallah okay so you listen to it share it with your family and alhamdulillah take those notes share those notes those notes they come very handy sometimes because some of us we don't know how to take notes and that's the reason why we ask randomly they're going to ask people to submit their notes so and then you'll give them some advice how you take a note and this is how it is this is what it is mashallah this and because it's a science to everything you want to do something right you're going to learn how to do it right we don't just do it you know you don't just get up and drive then you learn how to drive from those who know how to drive somebody who never drove he ain't going to teach somebody how to drive the one who doesn't have something can give it to others or pass it on so this is very important for us it's going to teach us to be to have some academics there's homework there is notes there is this prepare for the next class you're going to memorize this two sentence this paragraph you're going to sit inshallah ta'ala after the isha you're going to sit down i'm going to listen to the memorization i'm going to do some memorization and this is going to help us inshallah ta'ala now barakallahu fikum and i will remind you that tonight before you go to sleep set your alarms okay that's what they say that uh, uh, they are they, they, uh, they're they gonna take uh, back an hour or something right take it back what they say fall back you get hurt man you should fall front okay whatever the case is so fall back you know what I mean Abdurrahman huh going backward yeah huh? the time will change so when you go home today some of the some of the uh, smartphones they change by themselves right i don't think i have one like those so you have to do it manually and also these clocks like for example before we go to sleep if you got to go to sleep at 10 30 just put it on what 9 30. and this is going to change the times of the prayers just as related to the clock but the time the regular time they stay the same so fajr we pray today what time like 705 705 we prayed today the iqama was at 705 so it's gonna be at 605 tomorrow inshallah and from tomorrow dhuhr is gonna be at 1 p.m until they change the fall forward whatever it is fall forward ah spring forward spring forward <laughs> until the spring comes then it's gonna be two o'clock and and the other salawat just go back one hour like asr come at 4 40 now it's gonna be at 3 40. maghrib uh, 6 45 now it's gonna be 5 45. 
Isha 7.50. The Mu'addin, we yeah. Now it's going to be what? 6.50. Tahajjud. 2 o'clock. Now it's going to be what? Huh? Uh, 1 o'clock. Man say Adhan. Waqt al Adhan? I know, time bar. So, inshallah, Ta'ala wants to be serious about these classes so we can learn, have the opportunity to review them again together, look at the notes, submit notes, there are questions, submit answers, and all these things, okay? Man jadda, huh? Wajada, wa man zara'a, hasada. The proverb says, Man jadda, wajada. Whoever work hard will see the, the results in, ahead of him, not someone who's playing games. Woman zara'a, hasada. And the one who plants something, he will harvest later on, inshallah. Somebody plant anything, anyone to harvest, he can harvest. La. So it's important for us to be serious, inshallah. Now, what are some of the benefits of one? Share with us something today. We went through now. Something we covered. Now, Mahi. Allahu huwa khaliquna. It is Allah who created us. Now, Sense. What else? Abdurrahman. And we are created to worship Allah alone. Now, what else? What did we cover so far? Now, Hassan? Wayardahu? Hassan? Al Ibada to Ismu Yakul Sheikh Islam Utemi Rahimullah. العبادة اسم جامع لما يحبه الله ويرضاه من الأقوال والأفعال الظاهرة والباطنة نعم that عبادة worship that is so important and we are created for that to fulfill that is a comprehensive term that includes all what Allah loves and pleases with statements and actions hidden and apparent نعم or apparent and hidden what else نعم عكاشة أحسنت نعبد الله سبحانه وتعالى اتباعا لنبيه صلى الله عليه وسلم This is how we're going to worship Allah by following his prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم Our beloved prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم نعم إبراهيم أحسنت نعبد الله بما شرع أي نعم ولا ولا نبتدع We worship Allah by what he has legislated and we do not innovate. What else? Naam. Lukasha. Ahsant. Na'budullaha bi fi'li al-awamiri wa ijtinabi al-nawahi. We worship Allah by adhering to his commands. Whether those in his book or on the tongue of his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And of course, when it comes to the commands, we do them to the best of our abilities. To the best of the abilities, meaning, it doesn't mean do it on your terms. You Whenever you feel like it's okay, if it's not. There is a game on, no salat al asr This is not uh, to the ability. The ability meaning if you cannot do it as it is legislated, because it's a hard, then there is an easier way. There is another way for you that is legislated. For example, you cannot stand in the Salat. It's difficult for you to stand. You're sick, whatever the case is. Then you sit. That's what it means to the best of your ability. Not like someone sick, don't pray. Why you're not praying? Achi, to the best of my ability. Ah, doesn't mean that. To the best of your ability, you cannot stand, you sit. You cannot sit, you lay down. That's what it means. You you fast in a month of Ramadan, day by day. 
But if you have a valid reason, you don't fast. You don't fast that particular day. If the if the reason behind which you could not fast that day is gone next day, then you fast again. <clears throat> you know, likewise the Hajj. You want to make Hajj, but then you didn't have the means, money. Or maybe you have the money, but you couldn't get a passport for whatever reason. And like now, if you can't get your passport, there's some problems in your name, whatever the case. Or you have a passport and the money, but you don't have no time. You just can't go. You just can't go. Whether your job is going to let you go, or maybe you have a time to go, but your mother needed you, and she has nobody else to take care of her. Or you have the money and the time and the passport, but you have debts. You have that $7,000, but you owe $10,000. You don't just go to Hajj. No, you have to make sure talk to the people. If they tell you, just go, brother, it's okay. Man. Just make dua for me in Arafah. That's another issue. But if they say, Akhi, I need my money, don't say, I would be like, you're a Muslim. You want to prevent your brother from Hajj. He has the right to do that, ya akhi. And you don't go for hajj if that's all you have. If you have enough money, the ulama, they say from Sheikh Al-Azimin, Ben Baz and others, if you have enough money to pay your debts and go to hajj, that's what you do. Or if that person say, look, you don't have to worry about this. Can you do payments, 200 a month, and you're able to do that? Then you go. That's another way the ulama, they say don't just go and tell somebody, I would have been like, I told you to sell you, man. SubhanAllah. After all these years, man, I've been deceived about you. You want to prevent me from going for Hajj? And you want to prevent the man from his money? He did good to you? He helped you out? That's why we have to ask questions. Don't make decisions based on emotions. Ask the questions. <clears throat> now, sometimes the person have the money, have the passport, have the ability and time. And what is the problem? Hmm? Health. He's not healthy. He can't travel. Okay, since you said that, this man is healthy and has the money and passport and the time and still can't go. Why? It's not safe. His country ain't nothing. It's like there is war everywhere, no airports. He, the only way he can leave it through planes, there's no airports. He can't go nowhere. What does that person do? He don't go to Hajj that year. Because it's not safe for him to travel. It's not safe for him to move. All right? So that's what it is uh, to do it to the best of your ability by learning how you're supposed to do it, what is legislated. But if you can't, then there is another easier way that is legislated. We don't come up with our ideas. We don't come up with our ideas. What we think is easy in this matter. Now we've got to say, look, subhanAllah, this deen is beautiful. Allah says to worship him to the best of our abilities. And it means that if I cannot do it this way, I need to know what is the next step I should do that is within my ability. Not to every one of us come up with his own idea and say, oh, Allah says, La you can live Allah on nafsan illa wa sahab. <clears throat> Now, what is some another benefit? Something else we cover today? That's it, Nasir. Ahsant. When you want to pronounce something in Arabic, you have to make sure you hear it correctly and learn it. Like this Allahu khalaqana, not khalaqna. Not khuliqna, not khaliqna, khalaqana, and this one is easy, okay? Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.